Mr. Oliver. I'm Principal Randall. Oh, it's nice to meet you. It's uh, your first day, too, isn't it? Yes, and I'm still trying to figure out why a doctor of paleontology would come all the way to Reefside to teach science to teenagers. I guess I'm looking for some peace and quiet. So you became a high school teacher. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense now, does it, Dr. Oliver? You know, I was thinking, maybe we should get together. This way, you can kind of fill me in on what you expect of me. I expect you to make it hard for them. Painful, if at all possible. If they smile, you know you're doing something wrong. Now, I'm off to find my first truant. We'll talk later. Guys, settle down. Take your seats, please. I'm uh, Dr. Oliver, and this is First Period Science. Before we start, are there any questions? Yes. Cassidy, Cassidy Cornell. Dr. Oliver, as you may know, I'm the anchor and field reporter for our school TV station. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure our viewers are wondering, well, you don't really look old enough to be a teacher. Devin, are you getting this? Cassidy, I promise you, I'm old enough. So let's put the camera away. You missed it. For now, let's talk about you guys and what you expect of yourselves in this class, because that's what's really important. Is uh, someone missing? Dude, you're supposed to try and stop it. You sure we're not gonna get in trouble for this? I mean, the bell rang and it's the first day. Look, if anyone says anything, tell them Connor McKnight gave you permission to be out here. Yeah, but I heard the new principal is crazy. She worked in a prison or something before she came here. <laughs> Don't worry about Randall. She's a woman, and women are just growing up girls. <laughs> Need I say more? I think you've said quite enough, Mr. McKnight. Principal Randall! I have heard such great things about you. Vicious rumors, I can assure you. Go. Oh, man. What are you looking at? Huh? Now get back to class! Okay. All clear. Check this out. I wrote a program. Generates a code. So the sprinklers go off at different times every day. I want to know, know where you're at. I'm at the front, but you're still at the back. Oh, can you tell me where, tell me where you're at? Freak you out, freak you out. Freak you out, freak you out, freak you out, freak you out, freak you out. Miss Ford, I'm afraid you need written permission to perform on school grounds. Let's go. Are you aware that kids who play an instrument have a 50% higher chance of getting into college? Well, you're hardly college material now, are you, Miss Ford? Now come with me. James. I should have known. Sit! Principal Randall, I'd just like to mention the fact that there's absolutely no hard evidence linking me to that unfortunate sprinkler incident. Save it for Judge Judy, Mr. James. The three of you have detention for one week, starting today. Now, if there are no further questions... Why? I, I have computer I club. didn't think so. Okay, somebody seriously need to hug. Dude, computer club? Dr. Oliver, how was your first day? Oh, uh, the kids are great. No problem. Good. You're gonna be seeing a lot more of them in detention. Mind telling me what I did? No, you're in charge of it today. Uh, no, actually, I have plans to go to a museum outside of town. Perfect! Bring the little monsters with you. That should be sufficient torture for them. You've all met, I trust. Well, enjoy your little outing. So, 
You guys like museums?